Welcome back and last time you may remember I was working on uh, sanding the door frames here and uh, with Jeff still away I got uh, Dan to um, spray these in the white primer so that's the first round of primer on uh, the first one so that's the right hand side door and uh, here he's working on the left hand side one so uh, that's um, the first go around of, of the primer on there after all the different changes that were made and I've got you know a bunch of different fill to do there, little pinholes and all sorts of different you know things that still need to be addressed uh, before they can get their top coat put on. And while that was happening, I thought I'd take the time to make the brackets and the hard points that actually mount on the door frame of the fuselage for those gas struts. So there's the hard points, and they're all roughed up, and that's uh, pretty much where they're going to bond to there on the frame, on the aft side or the rear side of the frame. And uh, the brackets are done as well, and they'll end up going off to powder coat at some point here. So that's how they are, and they've been tapped as well, so they can accept the threaded end of the gas strut. And Dan's been doing a great job just moving through all the different bits and pieces that need to be done with uh, all the systems. So here's the lines there for the AC, and you see he's got a bracket there, a little plate holding them in place there on the left. And uh, we had to spend oh, almost a day, actually, trying to get things sorted out back down there halfway down the keel uh, because the the conduits were sort of pushing apart at one point there and they were touching the aileron cables so we had to get down there with a bunch of fishing and uh, get a cable tie around those and also cable tied it to the floor so it wouldn't move so anyway we got that sorted out and uh, here you can see uh, Dan is sort of uh, been making progress there getting some studs uh, bonded to the firewall there and uh, getting um, the 8L clamps in place and just for anybody who's asking we are going to be putting a heat shield on that firewall uh, when we pull the engine off um, at the last um, you know before we transport the uh, the uh, airframe up to the airport so you'll see that later on and uh, here's uh, me making some progress on uh, just patching all the little pinholes and little um, problems and stuff on the doors where you know various different things had been done and need to be patched so uh, making progress on that and uh, meanwhile also I just had to notch out there where the seat mounts uh, for the rear seats there into where we did that radius blocking a while ago and there's a carbon fiber that I'm going to put in there and do those layups so there's the layups there on the one side that's the pilot side and uh, peel ply all over there I did spend a lot of time making the peel ply cover everything so when it comes out it's all nice and neat and there aren't any um, bubbles or anything like that and there's those hard points as well uh, for the gas strut so I just put those in and I just got a bit of duct tape there just holding that in place while the resin and uh, flux mix sets up and then I do the layup over the top of that later on and this is the next day and I'm almost done with taking the peel ply off there it takes a little while when you've got all the different pieces you've got to get in there with a Stanley knife and sort of catch the edge peel it up and then get it out of there but uh, we ended up uh, putting the seats back in there and uh, trying them out so now they're sitting all the way down on the floor and it's perfect so I'm like five eleven and a half and I had two inches of a headroom with the seat all the way back and 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 sitting up straight so and the view out the side was fine and Dan's a little shorter than me but he could see out as well so I'm happy with how the seats are going to work out in the in the back. And here's Devin uh, just working on, again, finishing off, um, trimming the edges there. This is uh, one of the lower wing skins that he's uh, just trimming back there to the tape mark. So he's almost done with all the different surfaces there with not only sanding the inside where the ribs are going to match, but also trimming them to size. That's the last one. And here's Jeff setting up to bond uh, those sleeves in place that hold the foreplane in place so these are the sleeves that, it, that um, I made up at Brits and had him weld um, those sort of washers too so there's one of them sitting there in the forward bulkhead so that that one is actually getting bonded in and I believe the one in the actual spa was getting bonded as in as well but Jeff had to make sure that they're all nicely aligned and the hardware was going through there first before he decided to bond everything there so that you know the bolts will still come out in fact he's got the bolts going in from the front towards the back but it'll be the other way um, when we actually go to bolt it on. Um, he's got some nut plates that will be uh, bonded in on this front side there of the spar um, so when the bolts go through from the inside of the cabin they'll just catch the nut plate there and hold it in place uh, but there you can see uh, there's the end of the bolt there 
coming through so the bolt head will be on that side uh, later on and there's the one on the other side so uh, that job is pretty much done with them bonded in now and now we're on to Friday afternoon and I had done all the um, different patching and repairs and fill and stuff on the door frames that I could do that, that I could see that needed to be done so it was time for another round of primer and then to ultimately see what's left after that before we actually spray the top coat on there which is going to be kind of like a light grey um, or very light grey you'll see and uh, so Jeff's here in the, in the process now of uh, spraying the primer there again and he's putting a nice sort of uh, heavy coat on there so you know, if I do well the extra little bits of fill and stuff that I do I won't be actually taking it back through to uh, the bare carbon behind it it'll just be uh, a little bit of sanding and fill and then uh, maybe another coat of primer but then probably we'll just go straight on to top coat and this is what uh, the other one looks like that he'd already done actually came out pretty good so far I'm pretty happy with it um, compared to what it looked like before as they say in Australia it looked like a dog's breakfast at one point and uh, now it's looking pretty good so here's the other one and he's still just uh, halfway through doing and uh, so there'll be more work for me to do with uh, just patching those a little bit more but I'm pretty happy that I'm um, closing in on uh, getting these doors like completely finished and the next job with the wing spars was clamping them into place and making sure that they were correctly aligned and then uh, match drilling these holes there that we already had the hole in the main spar match drilling that onto the wing spar and that's what I'm doing there with a right angle drill and a little bushing and I know you guys have seen this before but uh, here's the fuselage now with the uh, four plane spar bolted into place and the two wing spars just sort of clamped on there and uh, don't get too confused by that inboard rake angle there of the winglets the camera angle is sort of uh, uh, over emphasizing it they're only inboard uh, by a few degrees and because they rake backwards they they're getting that angle and of course with a wide angle lens it's sort of even more accentuated uh, but now we're ready to actually start bonding the wings together now we've got those holes match drilled and this is what it looks like from above with the uh, with the engine on so you haven't seen that view quite before so it's really starting to look like something there and it won't be too long and we'll be able to actually um, have the first wing somewhat assembled and uh, put on there and actually the goal is now to get the engine and stuff running and we're actually going to run it in the shop there just going to back it up to the door and be able to run it on the aircraft um, the same way we had it on the test stand so that'll be exciting and uh, there's uh, one of those uh, hard points there in the door ready for the layup and this one I'm actually halfway through doing the layup there so I'm just putting one layer of medium carbon over that and that's ready to have peel ply on there and that's what it looks like when the peel ply is done so again I just put a whole bunch of small pieces on there that gives me really good coverage so there's no spots that uh, get missed with the peel ply so when you pull it off you get a nice neat finish and you really don't have to do hardly anything although there will be a little bit of trimming around the edges for those and there's a second door that Jeff finished spraying the primer on so as you can see it's come out pretty nice you know uh, once we have the door trim on there um, it's going to actually look pretty pretty decent, not too bad at all um, you know for all the effort and work and stuff that's gone in there so I've still got to do you know a few little patches and stuff on there but not too much and lastly I just picked up this Raspberry Pi which is pretty much a little small computer for those of you who don't know and so what I'm going to be doing with this is um, it's going to be uh, set up to monitor the uh, temperature and also uh, the pressure in the uh, intake side of the engine sort of post the second turbo and one there and then one after the intercoolers and then uh, with a, a solenoid controller on each of those different um, places determine where to switch the pressurization from so because one air one source will be hotter than the other and so anyway I gotta basically figure all this out and make this these circuits and stuff so it can monitor pressure and temperature and then uh, switch the solenoids on so um, you do it with this little um, test board there you set up all your different wiring in there and uh, test it all out to make sure it's all working and then you can actually create like a finish board for that and this is what it looks like when it's uh, plugged in and fired up just a little couple of little LEDs running there and then I have the ability with um, VNC to remotely connect to it and so this is actually running off of my uh, laptop right now and I'm remotely connected to that box and so here you can see inside the Raspberry Pi OS and so probably going to be writing this program that, that does this um, 
monitoring and, and uh, handling of the pressure going into the cabin using um, Python 2 and I don't know anything about Python 2 yet but you know I'm a programmer by trade so it's not going to take me long to figure this out and uh, so we'll be having that uh, little setup done and I'll be able to test all this and uh, we'll probably end up using this Raspberry Pi for other things as well because uh, it has a lot of abilities uh, to do different things so uh, that's going to be um, part of my weekend project this weekend just to get more familiar with this and then it'll probably be somewhere in the um, the actual computer itself would be somewhere on board possibly um, just in the baggage compartment there or something where it's close to all the sensors are and then we can just remotely um, connect to it without having to have you know a dedicated screen or anything like that or keyboard and uh, see what's going on but for the most part it'll be a fully automated program that runs there so that's some something else that I have to work on like all the other things that I still got to do but anyway that's our update for this week and uh, tune in again on Tuesday and see how things are progressing and uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week.